All right, welcome back to Ace and Maverick. I am Maverick, um, and this is Vertigo. This is my base jump base that I kind of built specifically for VR. Uh, it's been I just got so much love in the last day that I figured I'd give everyone a VR tour since that's kind of why I built it was more VR um, oriented, obviously. So yeah, uh, what happened is I found this crazy spire, and I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough and show you parts of the base that I like, I guess, the most. But yeah, I found this crazy spike in, on this planet, and uh, I knew I had to build something up here because it's practically a low orbit base. Um, and I, all I did was just wrap the spike with this cube. I knew I was gonna do vertical landing pads kind of like right away. But from there on, it was it was kind of I I build as I go. I really don't know the plan at all, and this actually has changed drastically um, throughout the build process. There was a light there. I must have accidentally deleted it, uh, so ignore that. I'll put it back when I'm not in VR. <laughs> um, also, with this base, I the the dome kind of came towards the tail end of the. Well, in the middle of the build, really, that was half the problem. But I, once I got the dome in, I knew that I wanted to put the airlock door. And I haven't had a base with one of these yet, so I was really, really adamant about getting that somewhere in the space. And I felt like it was a really good spot to have it slip right into this greenhouse type deal here. Um, and yeah, obviously, super high up and... This is kind of like a nice viewing lounge. I really wanted the inside of this dome to give you that sense of vertical scale. So that's why I kind of did this open scaffolding. And uh, yeah, I think it uh, I think it worked out pretty well. I, it was kind of hard trying to find ways to put trees and stuff in here because I also, with that vertical feeling I wanted, I wanted to have a lot of plants to aid that. And then also I wanted it to be kind of like a greenhouse because there's really nothing else to put in here. Um, so yeah, and then I have this cool trans, uh, you know, glass floor with some lights down there so you can kind of get a good view of depth underneath you. And uh, yeah, I just filled this room with stuff and a little guy over here and some some of the essential plants. I don't know. Uh, some bite meat things and... Yep. Uh, this, actually, the inside of the dome was a lot easier to figure out and get set up than I thought it would be. That's for sure. Um, with, like, the... I knew I wanted more than one level. <clears throat> with the lower level down there below me. Excuse me. Um, but, yeah, uh, it turned out pretty nice. I, I really like it, and I like how I have some... I could use some more plants, and I could probably never call any base done if I were really working on it, but... And then in here, I just wanted to have kind of like a commons room type feel. Um, in the video that I did yesterday, that was like not loaded in, which really made me mad because I was already like done recording the video and I noticed that and I was just like, ah. Oh. And then also these two, I forgot to put lights up there because like my starship was inside my eye, the in the wall. And then over there I put the wrong color light up, but so ignore that stuff. But yeah, this is enough uh, enough battery to make it through the whole day. It's actually about 50% if you start the night with it full. You get back to daytime and it's 50% and it charges back up. And so as long as you don't catch it off weird cycle, the batteries in the solar panels are sufficient for all the lighting through the whole 24 hour cycle, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about making sure things are on and off. Um, yeah, then I kind of added this spot here so you could you could get into your ship from here. I'm sitting down in VR, so it's being dumb and won't let me. And, uh, yeah, obviously the whole highlight of the base really was just the sky dive base jump aspect. And, uh, so I figured I'd add these little lights down here while, uh, so you could base jump and kind of get, you know, a little bit more feeling of you going fast. Because it's so high up, you kind of really almost... If you didn't have something to look at, you wouldn't feel like you were falling. <laughs> but, <clears throat> yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, a little base jump. I, I know I seem accustomed to it. I've done this a lot in the process of building this now. <laughs> but she up there, it's actually like 840 U's from the close to the water level. And so, yeah, like, 
I was going to do a suborbital on top of that and have a teleporter to it. But that, uh, it was, it was only going to be like a hundred more U up there. So it was kind of pointless. So then I decided just to have the secondary teleporter be a quick access back up to the top, which that means you can, you know, jump as many times as you want. So, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's pretty fun base. You should come check it out. If you want to come skydive with your friends, you can do the little dropper zone and it's in Euclid normal mode. Uh, I'm on PlayStation, but, uh. I know console, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's got some cool dragons. There was a comm station. I loaded in on flat mode. There's a comm station someone left me, and I was going to go check that out too while I did this little tour, but it's not showing up now that I'm in VR. Um, so I'll have to go back to flat and see what what nice message someone left me. Well, yeah, thanks for for checking the base out, guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the love. It makes me want to build more. It's it's so far down that the uh, some of the it's weird because like all of those stay loaded, but some of the other stuff doesn't. It has to pop back in. Obviously, like these support beams for this arch and stuff. Um, <laughs> the fun fact about this is, I might eventually flip that curve of that archway to go the other way, so it kind of opens up to meet that level because as of right now like from far away it kind of looks like a turkey and now everyone's going to see a turkey base and i'm going to be mad but I, I can't get it out of my head now like it looks like a turkey <laughs> from afar <laughs> with that so i might switch like i said switch it so it it's it slopes to the front and then has the upper level up there but that's all um yeah thanks for watching ace and maverick like and subscribe and I'll see you next time, and I'm going to definitely build some more bases. This one was... I need a break for a minute.